Hey, what's up everybody? I just realized that I haven't made an absolute beginner's video on how to get command line arguments into your programs. It's time to fix that. Let's go. Anytime you're learning a new programming language, one of the first things that you learn is how to get command line arguments that are passed to your program so that you can actually use them because Hello World type programs can be a great sandbox, a great playground for you to try to learn and try new things out. But if you wanna make programs that are actually useful, you need some way to interact with them, some way to give them input. And there are a lot of different ways that we can give input to our programs, but command line arguments are one of the simplest. So here's the basic idea. If I start with something like Hello World and I run the program, I just run it. I just type in the name of the binary and it just runs. But what if I want to give it some kind of option? Like let's say that I want to, I want to run a command like this. Say I want to make a version of Hello World that takes an argument and the argument actually tells me what message that I actually want the program to print out. This gives me some flexibility and allows me to actually change the behavior of a program at runtime. So and this is really simple. Today I want to show you how to do it we basically do it by changing the way that we define our main function. Now main can actually take a few different forms. The one we saw in hello world took no arguments returned an int. This is probably the simplest way that you can write main. But if we want to get arguments from the command line, then we can declare main differently just like this. And we add two new arguments, which are usually called argc and argv. You could call them whatever you like, but convention is to call them argc and argv. So unless you have a good reason, maybe just leave them be argc is an int and the c stands for count. It tells me how many arguments were passed into my program. And so to just see how this works, let's change up our hello world program to print out the value of argc. And now we can run it with different numbers of arguments and you can see that the number changes, but you may be surprised since the number is always one more than you might expect. If I pass in one argument, you get two. If I pass in two arguments, you get three and so forth. And that is because the name of the program, the name of the executable that I typed in, that gets passed as one of the arguments. Now, the argv array is a double character pointer. It's basically an array of strings. And if this is confusing, I have some videos about the relationship between pointers and arrays. They're very closely related in C that is. And so, uh, yeah, I hope these videos are helpful. I put some links in the description. So let's make a loop that goes through and prints out all the arguments that are passed in. This will help us see how argv works. So we're gonna count up from zero up to argc minus one because arrays always start with zero. And then each time we'll print out that element of the argv array. And if we compile it and run it, it works. And we can run it with one argument or two arguments or three arguments. And also as a side note, if you wanna pass in an argument that has spaces in it, just put all the text that you wanna include in quotes like this. Now also remember that in your program, these arguments are strings, they're text. So I've done a few videos recently about strings, how they work and how you can manipulate them. If those are helpful, great. But if you wanna pass in arguments that are numbers, then you just need to convert that string argument into the appropriate number type. So for an integer, that means using something like ATOI, which is short for ASCII to int. For a float, use something like ATOF, which is the equivalent, but that produces a float. And so this gives you a straightforward way to pass some limited information to your programs. And that's all I have for today. Just wanted to make this quick video that hopefully fills in one of the gaps in my introductory sequence and helps you get arguments into your programs so that you can change the way your programs behave, make things a little more useful. I hope it's helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Subscribe, click the bell so you get notified if you wanna make sure you don't miss it. And until then, I'll see you later.